Hi, Promise. Hope you're well. Another little rhythm figure for you here. Ba, ba, ba. One E, ah. Uh. This comes in at grade three, at Trinity anyway, for the first time. It sounds like this. Ba, ba, ba. So you're thinking here about 16th, right, or semiquavers, one E and a, uh, and this figure just leaves out the and, one E and a. Uh. So again, if you think of those four sixteenths as your basic structure, as a sort of skeleton of the thing, the scaffolding, uh, you're just going to play the first and the second and the fourth, right? One E and a. Uh. It's a sixteenth note or a semiquaver, then an eighth note or a quaver, and then another sixteenth at the end. So you've got one E, E is the quaver, that takes you through two semiquavers to a. Uh. One E and a. Uh. You get it? Uh, recommended sticking, and you don't have to do these recommended stickings, but they're recommended, right? The recommended stickings particularly come in if you're finding rhythm a little confusing, like most people do. I know I did when I started, and notation and counting and all that stuff. Uh, it's just one way of like taking another variable out of the equation at first, so you know how the sticks are going to go, so you're not asking your brain to kind of figure that out as well at the same time. Recommended sticking would be for a right hander, right, left, left. One E and a. Uh. You get it? One E and A. Uh. And the big idea here is when you play your sixteenths, your regular semiquavers, a little group of four across one beat, you'd go one E and A, uh, right, left, right, left, more often than not, or left, right, left, right, if you're left-handed. So all you do is you take away the stick that would have played the note that now isn't there. The and effectively has been taken out here, hasn't it? One E and A. Uh. You get it? So that right stick is removed. One E and A. Uh. So the and comes away, you've got your left with right, left, left. If you're left-handed, go left, right, right. If we played a whole bar of them, they'd go like this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So your lead stick, my right hand, would be landing on the beat. The uh, left stick would be playing what we call upbeat semiquavers, or offbeat sixteenths. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. The rhythm is one E and a. What I'm going to do here is play it around the kit in the usual way. I'll make a little drum fill where I play that figure uh, on each beat. Remember, this this takes one beat of the bar. And there are assuming there are four beats in the bar, and we'll play here beat one on the snare drum, beat two on the high tom, beat three on the mid tom, beat four on the floor tom, and it will go. You're getting it? One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So one E and a and so on, but with the and left out. We often think of words, don't we, to come up with rhythms or to, to, uh, to, get, to get the feel of rhythms. So tea, coffee, cappuccino for quarter notes, eighths and sixteenths, crotchets, quavers, semiquavers. I like to use motorbike for that grade one combination of two sixteenths, one eighth, motorbike. I like to use black current or ice hockey for the one that's one eighth and two sixteenths, ba, 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 ice hockey, uh, one and a. But in this case, ba, 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 it's a little harder to think of words. The one I use is quite random, but there's a test umpire called Alim Dar, isn't there? Um, test cricket, that is. And so Alim Dar, if you really want one, if you really want a word, it's not a word, it's someone's name, but Alim Dar works pretty well. So what I'm going to do here is play one bar of a straight eights groove and one bar of the drum fill. I'd really recommend doing this just to get a real feel for how it all goes. Here it comes. And here we go. And here it is. You're getting it? So one E, a two E, a three E, a four E, a. Just to further establish the feel of that, um, you could start to move around the kit a bit more randomly. Hopefully you can hear there that I'm playing that figure four times. Ba 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 one e and uh two e and uh three e and uh four e and uh always with the sticking right left left. 
cool so that's that and then next thing to do is just start using it a bit more in creative drum fills let's randomly go and let's play this figure on beat one let's play some eighth notes on beat two let's play this figure again on beat three and then we'll play a four and a, a little black current or ice hockey on beat four let's build that uh, real quick now so beat one this figure one e and a uh. beat two uh, eighth notes two and beat three this figure again three e a uh, and then on beat four let's go four and uh. so we've got one e a uh, two and three e a uh, four and a uh. just randomly made it up but remember this is a great way to come up with drum fills when you're on top of all your note values and your rhythm figures for whatever level you're at just combine them and make a little one bar uh, rhythm phrase I'm a big fan of going beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four, because it just allows us at first to keep that, the, where the beats of the bar are really, really clear in our, in our head and not lose any beats. Uh, let's play that a little bit. You get it? One E and a two and three E and a four. I'll go a bit faster. Okay, I'm gonna to start to move around the kit a bit more freely. You get it? So we're just building a little one bar phrase now, incorporating that rhythm and just, first of all, one, two, three, four, as in the beats of the bar, but then just start to move around. And like I've said so many times that on this channel and I'm just such a big believer in this, it's such a great way to build up vocabulary, to create on the drums. When people say, I can't think of any drum fills, that's it, man. Just take your basic note values that you've learned, your basic uh, rhythm figures, combine them in a one bar phrase, beat them, move it around the kit, beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four, and then start to move a bit more freely, man. The moving a bit more freely is probably the bit that takes the most practice and just sort of noodling and doing that thing musicians do, just sitting at your kit and playing, right? And really getting into it uh, and just you know, doing loads and loads of variations and being prepared to sort of for it to cock up a few times, a lot of times, and then sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm a big fan of recording yourself doing this, watching it back, and you can kind of hear when it's working and when it's not, and you know, that, that kind of stuff. Uh, really, really important. Now let's pick a random little fill finally here from grade three. This is from the rock and pop, Trinity rock and pop tune Sweet Emotion by Aerosmith just to give an example of where this ba 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 this one e uh, rhythm figure is used and this is misread and misplayed like you wouldn't believe man by students uh, not everybody some people get it right that's great but this this one in particular I mean I'm saying this from my own experience it definitely was by me at grade three uh, misread um, and misplayed all over the place remember it's da 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 we're going to go for bar 16 of Sweet Emotion uh, the drum fill goes like this in fact I'll play the the whole bar in which the drum fill is the drum fill starts on beat three. One and two and three e a four. The drum fill is in this case all on the snare drum. In this bar we play one and two and so the first half of the bar here is just groove, isn't it? Like it's beats one and two, regular straight eights type of feel groove. On beat three we play this rhythm figure three e a which I would recommend certainly in the first case as right, left, left. Again, if you're right-handed, if you're left-handed, go left, right, right. And then on beat four, we're playing the four E and figure, a motorbike, two sixteenth notes, one eighth note, typically right, left, right. So let's go through that again. One and two and, beat three is three E a, uh, beat four is four E and. One and two and three E a, uh, four E and. You get it? and two and three e a uh, four e uh. i'll play the whole line man like leading up to that it's three full bars of groove and then uh, let's see if we can catch that fill on beat three in the fourth bar here it comes this is the second bar three and four and one and two this is the third bar here's the drum fill i'll do that a bit more slowly one and two and three and here's the first bar Here's the second bar, two, three, four. Here's the third bar, two, three, 
four, here's the fourth bar. Three, E, F, four, E, N. You get it? Just an example of where you see it in the, in the book. So knowing about these uh, rhythm figures, these note values and combination figures such as, this is, uh, such as this is so useful in my opinion because you can read them on your chart. You can understand what's going on when you're doing your grade piece or whatever piece you're doing. You can, uh, when you're playing by ear and not using a chart, not reading music, when you hear a drummer go ba ba ba, you can recognize what that is. You have an idea of how you'd play it, how you'd stick it. And just personally, from my experience, you can kind of see it as well in your mind's eye as you're uh, playing by ear, uh, as you're picking it up without necessarily reading. And thirdly, obviously, then you're in a position to create with it as well, as we did just now earlier. Da, da, da. You can put that in a drum fill either all the way around the, on every beat like we did at first or incorporate into a, into the rhythm of your drum fill uh, like we did second there. So I hope this is all making a bit of sense. Ba, ba, ba. One E and a uh, recommended sticking right, left, left if you're a righty or left, right, right if you're a lefty. Uh, thanks so much for watching. As always, have a ton of fun with this. Um, yeah, go for it, man. Do all of those things. That's my advice. Like read it on your chart. Hit, listen out when you're playing stuff by ear. Listen out for those for that figure happening in drum fills because it's all over the flipping place. And then, of course, create with it as well by work, truly working with these figures and making friends with them and kind of falling in love with them over time. Um, that's how we really get to know them. And we sort of seeing them in a musical, con various musical contexts uh, is how we learn them. Or certainly is how I learn stuff rather than just sort of seeing it on a page once and then you know understanding it and like having it memorized and having it truly like. Uh, become part of you and, and part of your skills on the drums uh, two different things man you have to do yeah play around with it to get, really get to know it so that's that thanks a million for watching as always really appreciate it please like share and subscribe to this channel please especially on youtube if you haven't already that's such a brilliant way to support the channel and another brilliant way to support this channel and thank you so much to all the lovely people who are doing this is to visit my support page at buy me a coffee and that is uh in the i'll link it in the description below or above depending where you're watching this um there's two ways to support this channel thank you so much to all the people who've done both of these two ways uh, the first way is to just buy me a coffee which is the original idea of that page and i appreciate it so much again people who who do that that's just a single one-off uh support like donation a coffee so to speak and uh thanks a million oh i've got some shout outs and thanks to do uh to hang on uh, tony chris des and then it's like sometimes people don't put their names so it just says somebody bought you a coffee so thanks somebody whoever you are really, really appreciate that mysterious coffee buyer very nice and what you're doing there is so cool because you're supporting the channel and helping it grow and uh, uh yeah massively appreciate that if you've sort of found value in watching these videos you found them entertaining helpful useful whatever the, the thing you found them that's positive um Thanks so much. Thanks so much for sort of acknowledging that. I appreciate it. The other thing to do is become a monthly member. And I'm, this is blowing me away, man. So many guys now becoming monthly members. Several this week. A massive shout out and thanks to Eric, uh, Stephen, Mark. And literally just now, actually, I was about to record this video. This flashed up on my phone. I think it's Remy. I hope I'm saying your name right, Remy. Uh, could be Remy, I guess, but I'm thinking Remy. Uh, please let me know if I'm saying your name right. I hope, hopefully I am. But thanks a million for your support. That is a, a monthly membership for £10 a month. You're supporting this channel. You're helping it grow. You'll be allowing me, it's really getting to this point, allowing, allowing me to make more and more videos. Uh, it's put me in a position to make a video each day, which is really, really cool. Uh, there's no reason why I wouldn't make more than one video each day as the support grows and grows and this thing comes along. So just thanks so much for getting involved and uh, seeing the value in this channel. I'm so glad, glad you're getting uh, stuff out of it as well. As a monthly member, a monthly supporter, you get a ton of stuff in return you get a weekly a members video sunday is now members video day i'll write you if you want one a personalized practice plan uh, everything i would recommend for you to practice in the order that i would recommend for you to practice it everything with a little video link next to it which takes you through uh, to a video which either describes demonstrates what the item is on your practice plan or in a lot of cases is a play along video that you just literally practice along to especially in the case of like physical drills um you uh, receive support for your drumming so email and video support so um if you've got a question I'll write you back um, about your drumming. If you've got uh, a question that warrants like a demonstration or a video response, I'll record you a little personalized video response and send that back to you. Um, you also get a complimentary 30 minute Zoom. Oh, this, and, and this could be if you want the practice plan i'll we'll 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 sort of thrash it out and we'll talk through it and work out like exactly where you're at and what the practice plan will contain and we'll it's really really nice to get together and put our heads together on that uh so complimentary a 30 minute zoom or if you as and when uh, lockdown finishes december the 2nd we hope uh, if you're anywhere around my neck of the woods i'm in cambridge here in the uk feel free to come up we'll do that face to face through a perspex screen at the minute and um yeah loads of other stuff like that uh, if you send me videos of drumming i'll give you feedback you also get priority requesting videos on this channel on the main channel as well as you get to make the suggestions for that i've restarted the name that drum tune sort of guessing game little bit of fun thing uh the members there are the people who make the suggestions uh for the uh, for which 
uh, bits of drumming, which songs we'll have in that game. Um, and you receive a shout out on the channel. And just, you'd be, again, you just can't thank people enough who do that because you're supporting this channel. You're helping it grow and you're actually allowing me to spend more and more time on it. And uh, yeah, the way I see it, it's just we're working together on this in such a cool way. Like hopefully you're getting value out of the membership and you're certainly supporting something which is, uh, uh, which is for me like mind blowing, helping it to grow and allowing me to spend more and more time and make more and more videos, answer more and more requests. Uh, hopefully be more and more helpful for people uh, watching with their drumming, which is the whole point. Lovely. Thanks so much. Really, really appreciate it. Good luck with your ba 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 and see you soon. Cheers. Oh, that's what I should have said. You know, in Smells Like Teen Spirit, right? <laughs> there it goes. So that drum fill at the start, Dave Grohl goes. No, it doesn't. It goes. That's how it goes. He's literally playing that rhythm figure that I've been talking about in this video, isn't he? Between the uh, snare and the kick, he's going one E, ah, he does it three times. One E, a two E, a three E, ah. Uh. On beat four, it goes four and just straight eighths, but there's a hi-hat on the and. To be fair, but between the snare and the kick, it's that figure. Should have said that earlier. Thanks so much. See you soon.